Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining. Joel Freeman here with Team Fly Green. Uh, speaking of Fly Green, big thanks to them for hosting and putting on this video right here. Uh, I am the 2022 Disc Golf Pro Tour Match Play Champion as well as the 2022 Butler County Disc Golf Classic Champion, a Silver Series in Pittsburgh. If you haven't seen that final round, go watch it. It's exciting. Today we're here to get in the bag. I'm going to show you what I'll be throwing during the season of 2024. So let's get right into it. Everybody likes to start off with the putting putters. So here we are. Uh, right now I'm trying the Yeti Pro AVR. Uh, these are a glow Yeti AVR and a big bead, kind of a blunt um, edge that'll kind of perform well in the wind and a pretty straight flight. So that's what I'm working with right now. This is uh, less of a putting putter and usually more of a thrower or a, I don't know, like an Anheuser putt. It's a super, super, super understable Nexus Zero. The last putter I carry, um, it's not many. This is the oldest disc in my bag. It's a 2017 Joel Freeman Champion Glow Whale, and this is my first signature disc ever and this exact one is the first one I ever put in the bag so pretty cool that it's still with me I use this for basically any shot under 300 feet that I need to not hyzer at the end I need to finish straight on to the good stuff these are my gators and of course I carry more than most people um, it looks like five it's really only four and I'll explain why in a second um, this is a understable kind of I can even hyzer flip this with a lot of power uh, This is my cheater disc in the woods tons of forehand up shots uh, It basically flies like a straight mid-range while having the performance in the wind and the forehand torque resistance of a gator um, I don't know if I called it a gator or a gator 3. This is a gator 3 just to be clear This is another Gator 3 um, from the same year, but it was the first half of the year where it was regular champion as opposed to the second half of the year they came out with the glow champion. Um, this one is just a little bit more oversealed. It's very much straight. So, so far we have the flippy Gator 3, the straight Gator 3, we have the normal Gator 3 is what I would call it. Uh, this is kind of what you'd expect a Gator 3 to fly like. This is the one that everyone wants in their bag. Trusty, overstable perfect upshot disc. Uh, this is the newest um, 2023 Halo run. This one is essentially just a backup to that other one. And this one's really special. This is the, I think it's a 2018 Scott Withers Glow Gator. And this is the most overstable mid-range that Innova has ever manufactured. Um, so this thing's really special. On those crazy days when it's 30 plus mile an hour winds. I'm using that for every single upshot. All right, down here in the lower compartment, we've got a couple more mid ranges. Um, these are both chariots. This one's super straight. This one's understable, so I can get long panning Anheuser's, hyzer flips, that kind of thing. And this one's just self explanatory, super straight. Um, this run came out all stiff, and it's it's perfect. I can put tons of power into it. Perfect mid range for me. All right, this is, these are some of my favorite discs uh, in my bag right here. Um, I'll mention this one real quick, the EX, sorry, EXPX from Millennium. Um, a lot of people haven't heard of this. Basically think a really overstable version of a T-Bird, like somewhere between a T-Bird and a Firebird is basically what this is. Um, I don't use that seven, like six, seven, eight speed range in my bag very often. Um, but this is a seven speed and I'm experimenting it with right, right, experimenting with it right now. I don't know if it'll last or not, but it's in the bag for now. All right, next up, I've got this incredible 11 time Firebird from the man himself, Big Germ. Um, I think he used to bag it and now it's mine. This thing is exceptionally overstable. Perfect for thumbers, forehand rollers, dramatic flex shots or severe wind or whatever. Um, this one is same idea, but just a little step down. Not quite as aggressively overstable. I use this one a lot. It's probably my go-to Firebird. This is, uh, sorry, these are both Firebirds. This is also a Firebird. And this one is a little different. This one will stretch a lot more. You can put power behind it, it'll stretch with still having that dependable fade. 
Thunderbird, same idea, but just stepping one more little half step in that under stability. Uh, it's kind of straight with fade at the end. This one is a Halo Dynasty, and this disc is really nice. Uh, I'm still getting used to it because it hasn't been in the bag for super long, but this is a laser straight nine speed, so I can just flow it, throw it flat. It'll maybe turn a tiny bit, fade a tiny bit, but it's, it's just very straight, generally speaking. This is one of my favorite discs in my bag, and this is the reason why I like a nine speed so much. This is the Halo Savant, and I think it's a first run Halo Savant, um, which is one of the more understable ones. This in my mind is what a Savant is supposed to be. Um, I can power this thing on a baby hyzer, and it'll flip up and go forever, I don't know, 460, I, could, I don't know, push it, give or take, you know, 20 feet. Um, but this disc to me flies like a mid-range with the distance of a driver. So that is just a really special pair of features to have in a disc. This thing is amazing. All right, next up we've got a Sidewinder. This is brand new to my bag because sadly I just yesterday actually lost that Thunderbird that was in my bag. If any of you have been following me for a while, that red Thunderbird beat up, fly, flew like a Sidewinder. Uh, that was my baby, it was like, who knows, 12 years old or something. Hopefully this one's a great replacement. Liking it for now, we'll see how long it lasts. This uh, is a twin of that one. It's the exact same run, exact same color and everything, but this one's years old, has been in my bag. I've been beating it up forever, so it's extremely understable, perfect for rollers. Um, it's honestly too flippy for like a hyzer flip. It, it'll flip over too much, so pretty much just rollers or get out of trouble shots occasionally. Okay, another disc from the big man himself. Jeremy Colling gave me this Champion Boss from 2023. Um, he described to me that this had a special degree of overstability. So it is hard to find a disc that has extreme overstable and extreme speed at the same time. This has both of those features, makes it really helpful on super windy days when I'm out there on the pro tour kind of courses when the wind is wind is howling but i still need control plus 450 500 feet of distance this is the one that'll actually do both of those things at once um you guys know what this is calvin halo destroyer it's overstable it's trusty this is my probably my most thrown driver in my bag very trusty this is the go-to this one is very similar to that this is a bottom stamp stamp destroyer um, and it's just a little bit straighter than the Halo one. Still nice and trusty, overall very straight. This one is the same idea, bottom stamp destroyer uh, in star plastic, and this is one of the fa my favorite discs in my bag. Um, I can pop it out on a little bit of hyzer, it'll flip up and go forever. Um, when I'm at low elevation, this is probably my farthest flying disc. Uh, maybe not quite in Colorado, it's a little closer to like a straight flyer. Um, but use this a bunch in the woods. It's a beautiful disc. Flippy and yet controllable. Speaking of flippy and controllable, this right here is another step in that underst understable direction. Um, pretty darn understable, but it's, um, but it's a nice controllable flip uh, with this one. This started out a little more on the overstable side, and when you have a disc that has an overstable nature to begin with, that you beat in to make it become understable. Anyone who's been on that journey with a disc knows that it's it's a special kind of under, under stability. It's not the same as just picking up, you know, a Shrike off the shelf. Although Shrike is a great disc, I recommend it. And last but not least, one of my least used disc um, discs, but helpful when I need it. This is a super understable champion destroyer. It's ancient um, and just incredibly understable. So sometimes standstill forehand or something that I really need to go far and never fade, um, I might pull this out right here. And uh, yeah, last we'll just kind of run through some of the some of the little extras. Of course, I've always got the water bottle, trying to stay hydrated. Got the dirt bag, and I do this a little bit differently than most people. This is just good old fashioned dirt. Anytime I see some good dirt around me, take a little handful, 
add it to the mix. Uh, for any of you who like that natural dirt feel, you know what I'm talking about, the good dirt. So this is some good dirt. I do keep a little kind of birdie bag in there just to kind of help to grab the dirt and kind of mix it all around, get it on my hand. Um, I've been loving that system for, for years now. It works, works great for me. Got uh, the good old towel. Got some resistance bands for uh, warming up. Let's see, we've got a couple of hand warmers. I'm not usually a big hand warmer guy, but when you need them, they're helpful. Got some pencils, some Sharpies, nothing fancy. Love this, I always at all times keep this, it's like a coat, it's like a super lightweight coat. So thank you Innova for, for this. Um, comes in handy a bunch if you're not expecting to get cold, but you do. Um, great retriever from Infinite Discs. Go pick one up on infinitediscs.com. And on the other side, I've got phone and wallet. Got the good old Revosri rangefinder um, for anyone who is curious to look beyond the Bushnell um, option. The Revosri is really nice. Uh, keep a couple like little neck gaiters, some buffs. Uh, add some color to your outfit or just add that little extra degree of warmth. And I've just got a couple backup powders over here. Um, I'm carrying all of this in a pound Octo Hall. And this is my signature color colorway from 2023. Excuse me. Love the kind of neon green chartreuse color uh, against the black. I just feel like it looks so good. And then of course up against the pink Ridge Roller. Um, Ridge Roller also makes incredible products, so check out all of it at the link in my Instagram bio. Speaking of which, the best way to follow me is on my Instagram page. My handle is Joel Freeman Wholehearted. Wholehearted without the W at the beginning. That's also the name of my YouTube channel. Appreciate all of you guys watching very much and appreciate all your support. I couldn't do what I do without people like you. So. Um, hopefully you guys can check out some of the content that I put, up, put out there and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks so much for joining the video and we'll see you next time. Like how about your first tournament? If, for anybody doing their first tournament, what's one thing I've, that you I've, I've got some ideas. Okay, okay. go ahead. So, go ahead. Um, all right, so two things that I would tell Two things that I would say to a beginner, if they're just starting off on their disc golf journey, it's a super fun time. Um, two things that I would recommend. One thing I did, one thing I did not do. Um, first thing that I did not do, I don't have much of a sports background. I was more in like an artistic family as opposed to a sports family. And so I think part of that translated to me not knowing to film myself. So as you're putting or throwing, film yourself. It'll teach you so much. So set up that camera, film yourself. It'll teach you a lot. Uh, the other thing I would say is don't add a disc into your bag unless you need it for a specific purpose. So you probably only need a couple discs, two or three to start. Don't add one unless you think to yourself, okay, I really need a disc that does this whatever that thing is that you need that new disc to do, it better be something that the disc you already have can't already do. Then add that next one in. Nice. Great. Cool. Um, I, I have one. Uh, do you have any superstitions or rituals you have before or during tournaments that you believe bring you good luck? Mm. As far as superstitions go, I don't tend to be a superstitious guy. Um, so, I don't know. There are little things where, you know, if I don't do a certain stretch or whatever, I'm, I, you know, i gotta got to get that one in real quick, make sure I'm loose or whatever, but for the most part, no. Hmm. For sure. 